Hello Gemini, I hope you're doing well. I'm gonna be doing a how they feel about you love reading. This is for those of you who are already in some sort of a connection. And we're gonna be looking at how they feel about you, what's going on in the connection, and what are their next actions going to be. So let's get right into it. Spirits, angels, guides. Messages for Gemini, please. Regarding love. I'm gonna be looking at your connection at this time. So what can you tell me about the connection is in at this time? Tell me about this connection. What messages do you have for Gemini? When it comes to love, December 2020. Okay, we got two. The world reversed and the seven of wands. What else for Gemini? What can you tell me about their connection? What's going on for Gemini? The moon reverse, nine of cups. Ooh. Judgment. Wow. Okay. What else for judgment? King of Cups, wow. Sorry, when I um when I light some sage, I get stuff all over the table and drives me nuts. Okay, Gemini. So so far what I see here is that okay, something right in the center here, something's coming to the surface with this moon reverse, Pisces energy, that's gonna make you very ha happy. I have the nine of cups here. So it's very satisfying. Whatever this is that's coming to the surface. Whatever is being revealed to you, um, it's going to make you very happy. I feel like there's someone that love. there's love here, whether this is how you feel about someone or how they feel about you with this King of Cups. And with judgment, there's a realization here. Someone's realizing something about love. They're having a, a personal awakening about love, about emotions. Um, their intuition is guiding them in some way. So I find that fascinating. Someone could be wanting a second chance as well or wanting to have some sort of rebirth in a connection. So I feel like when it comes to this person with judgment here, I feel like you have a past with this person. And I'm also picking up that there's something that's going to make you very happy here. Now with the world reverse and seven of wands, there has been in this connection, a lack of closure. Things never really tied up very nicely. There were loose ends here, unfinished business with this person. And with seven of wands, it's almost like someone is still fighting for this or wanting to fight for this. going on with my table okay so that's what I see so far about what's going on in this connection um do I want to use a different deck yes let's get some more clarity here for Gemini tell me more about this connection why is the moon reverse spirit The star reverse, Aquarius energy. <laughs> Two cards about healing reverse. Four swords reverse, star reverse. These are two cards about healing reverse. It's almost like someone hasn't healed. It's like someone wants to take action to heal or hasn't healed regarding what happened. This could be you or your person. Seven of Wands reverse. I feel like they stopped fighting. One of you in this connection stopped fighting for something. And for some reason with this moon reverse, this is like coming to the light or someone's having some sort of a realization here with judgment. What's judgment about? Whoa. That is a lot. That is a lot. But we're going to look at them. Hierophant, 
Taurus energy. Page of Swords reverse, Page of Wands. Four of Cups. Someone's had a change of heart. Someone's had a change of heart when it comes to the past. Someone's reviewing the past and they have renewed interest. It feels like here, like they, there's renewed interest, Gemini. One of you could have already been in some sort of a commitment or someone's thinking about what they should have said. Because this right here, this page of swords, your reverse page of wands, this is someone that should have said something and didn't and wants to talk now. Someone wants to talk now. It's like someone held their breath or, or held their emotions in. Um, someone didn't speak when they should have. I, that's what I'm picking up there. Tell me about the seven of wands. What's this? Ooh, that was the, the devil. Capricorn energy. Tell me about the seven of wands. Wow. This is like the two angels on you. This one I'm picturing two angels on someone's shoulders. Temperance on one side, Sagittarius energy, and Cap and uh, the devil on the other, Capricorn energy. I feel like someone has to remove shackles of some sort. And that is, there's going to be some sort of challenge they have to overcome to remove those shackles. It's going to take some time. This is all about rebalancing, bringing things into balance, into harmony. That's at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles. River. Yeah, this is some, someone's having some sort of an ending here. There's an ending to a cycle here. Complete transformation. But it's going to take time, Scorpio energy here. Could even be a broken commitment. Ace of Pentacles reverse. What more can you tell me for Gemini? Any other messages for Gemini about this connection? Chemistry, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Something's happening very soon in this connection. There's a strong magnetic attraction here, exactly. It's like something's bringing you together. Gemini? Something is, something is being orchestrated. That's what I heard. Or I, is, That's the message. Something is being orchestrated. Something's coming together here. So what are they thinking or feeling about you or the connection? I'm using my Secret Moon Oracle deck. This is out now in the shop. Link in the description box. I'm selling this on Etsy. Check it out if you're interested. What are they thinking or feeling about Gemini? What is this person thinking or feeling about Gemini? What are they thinking or feeling about Gemini? I'm afraid. First card out. What are they thinking or feeling about Gemini? I want a second chance. Exactly. That's that judgment card. I'm afraid because of the devil. One of you, but I feel like it's your person, the one that needs to possibly become unshackled, unburdened. I'm also picking up, it's almost like they're going back and forth, like, should I talk to them, shouldn't I? Perhaps they've been lying to themselves with this page of swords reverse and this four of cups. You know, maybe they've been pretending to be okay with the way things have gone down. I don't think that's the case. I think they're having some sort of awakening about that, about how they really feel. I want to fix this. Yeah. Yeah, this person wants wants to fix this, but they're held back by fear. But more than anything, it's not, I'm not just picking up like fear. It's not fear about the connection. It's fear about how to make something blend smoothly, how to make something work smoothly.
What are their next actions going to be? Spirit, what are their next actions going to be towards Gemini? What is this person's next actions going to be? So I'm going to pick a, um, their cards here. I'm going to talk about what are their next actions. And then we'll be looking at their true intentions and the outcome in the near future. Let's look at what are their next actions towards Gemini. Move these over here. What are their next actions towards Gemini? Justice. Yeah, that's that. I want to fix this. They want to make things right. And I feel like for some reason, this is coming out into the open. It's going to make you very happy, Gemini, with the Nine of Cups. It's like they haven't said this before or someone hasn't been open about how they feel before. But anyways, what are their next actions going to be towards Gemini? What are their next actions going to be towards Gemini? Six of Swords. This is someone leaving a situation, Gemini. That's the, the ending, the... Is it at the bottom of the deck? Yeah, that's this down here. Look, the King of Cups. King of Cups. This King of Cups. They're coming towards you to fix something. They're leaving a situation, ending a cycle. Can I get one more? What are their next actions going to be? Towards Gemini. The tower reverse. And I feel like they're coming after a tower has fallen. I normally don't get that energy with the tower reverse. Typically, I read it as someone that's trying to avoid a tower moment. And it could be that they maybe are trying to avoid a complete ending with you. But for some reason, I'm picking up that end of a cycle. Your person's having some sort of end ending in their life. And I feel like that has to happen in order for them to come to you. And I think that's what the, I'm afraid. Yeah, look at this. Eight of, eight of cups reversed with the nine of swords, exactly. This is someone that has fear Fear is holding them back from returning to you, is what I'm seeing here. Truly, let me clarify with this. Help me clarify for Gemini. And I don't know what happened in the past between you. If this is resonating, Gemini. Um, hit the like button and uh, leave me a comment letting me know how it's resonating because I love hearing from you guys. But I feel like whatever happened in the past between you, it was it was unfinished. It, there was a lack of closure. Tell me about justice. And so I feel like because there was a lack of closure in the past, someone's it's almost like there is in the back of their mind making them hesitate. Why is justice here? Yeah, Emperor, Aries energy. This is someone coming to make things right, Gemini. Could be an Aries, could be somebody with Aries in their chart. I feel like they were already in a commitment. A lot of you are dealing with someone who is already in a commitment. If they were not in a commitment, I feel like this is someone who's having financial difficulties or is like the patriarch of a family or a very important family member. Maybe they live with family or have very strong family ties. Yeah, this is about reuniting with you, coming together here. This is about bringing something together, coming together. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Wow, Eight of Wands. Yeah, this person is coming to talk to you. You know, it could also be that they're coming quickly because I have very soon here. They're coming very soon is what I'm seeing here. Or they're coming to talk. What else can you tell me about the Six of Swords? Wow. 
Wow. Three of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles reverse. It's like they're coming to talk to you to open up to work together. Yeah, Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Gemini, this person is coming to talk to you to work things out to open up to you. I don't know if there has been like little communication between you or not the communication you've been wanting, but uh, regardless, this is what this your person's next next actions are possibly going to be here. Tell me about this tower reverse. Now this won't resonate with everyone because it's a general reading Gemini. So if this is not resonating at all, check out my playlist for Gemini. That's way too many. Um, check out your other placements if they are more prominent in your birth chart. Tell me more about this tower reverse. Yeah, I feel like this tower has to drop in order to have a re reunion of some sort. There could even be a third party here. I have the, the three of pentacles, three of cups. Yeah, there. it's almost like your person had to cho choose. Person had to make a choice here. What to do. It could also be that your person, um, now that a tower has fallen, they actually have choices. You know, whereas before, I feel like they were bound by something. Yeah. <laughs> I just when I say that there's a ten of wands reverse, so it's like a burden has dropped for your person. Yeah. Very interesting, Gemini. This is such a clear reading. Very um from the beginning it was very like clear. So what's the potential outcome here? What are their true intentions towards you? Um if you'd like to support the channel for free, please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoy the readings. And I will see you all in another video, hopefully very soon. Take care.